Hello, everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about what's called the discriminant. It's part of the quadratic formula, and it's something that uh, um, it's very simple, but um, causes a lot of problems in my experience. Um, so the discriminant is this part of the quadratic formula, the part that's underneath the square root. And discriminant is used to know what kind of solutions you're going to get. So um, for b squared minus 4ac, if this is positive, just say positive, um, that means you're going to have two real solutions. Um, if b squared minus 4ac equals zero, you're going to have one real repeated solution. And then if you have b squared minus 4ac, that's negative, that's negative, uh, you're going to have two imaginary solutions. And I'm talking, when I talk about solutions, I'm saying when you plug in the A, B, and C into your, from your quadratic formula or from, from your quadratic equation to the quadratic formula, you're either going to have two real solutions, uh, one real repeated solution, or two imaginary. Before we continue, let me show you what the graphs will look like. That's too real because it crosses in two spots. Um, that's one real. And then uh, maybe something like this. There's two imaginary. So the real solutions are places where we cross the x-axis. So you can see a parabola like this crosses in two places. One like this crosses in one spot. And then one that's either completely above or maybe completely below doesn't cross anywhere. So there's two imaginary solutions. So the discriminant helps me sniff that out real fast. Um, so let's look at uh, a couple examples. I uh, want to start with y equals uh, x squared uh, minus 2x minus 8. Here, a is 1, b is negative 2, c is negative 8. And if you want to look at the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, that's going to be negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 8. And that ends up being 16, and that's plus 32. That's 48, which is positive. And so that means we're going to have two real solutions. And I don't know what they are yet. I have to use the full quadratic formula. <clears throat> but the reason this tells me I, I have two real solutions is, is because of this. We got minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. <clears throat> and what's going to happen basically is if this is positive, we're taking the square root of a positive number. And the square root likes positive numbers. The square root of a positive number is a real number, the square root of nine is three, the square root of 25 is five. And the square root of 48 is not a nice number. It's something with a decimal, but it's a, it's a, it's a real number. So basically here you've got minus B, so positive two plus or minus over uh, the square root of a positive over two times A. And that's gonna be two plus or minus a uh, real, number over two. And so you're going to basically have two plus that real number over two or two minus that real number over two. That's why you get two answers. So that's why uh, a, a, a positive number down there is uh, uh, leads to two answers. Now, if this were zero, let me just show you an example of that real quick. Uh, we'll have y equals x squared minus 9, or you could say x squared plus 0x minus 9. That's the same thing. Uh, now you've got a is 1, b is 0, c is negative 9, and if you do b squared minus 4ac, um, you're going to uh, 
Um, I'm going to have zero minus four times one uh, times negative nine like that. That's going to be 36. And uh, let's just let's look at this, this example first, and I'll show you, like I said, one where uh, the the uh, the uh, discriminant is zero here shortly. Um, so this is 36, the discriminant is 36. This is a two real case. And uh, the graph uh, looks like this, three minus three. And you can see that this would cross through two different spots. Um, so let's, uh, like I said, let's look at a case. Let's just look at the simple case of uh, x, y equals x squared. Uh, you could write that as plus zero x plus zero. Obviously, a is one, b is zero, c is zero. So if you do b squared minus four ac, that's zero minus four times one times zero, which is zero. And what's going on here now with your quadratic formula is you've got b plus or minus the square root of zero over two a. And what's going to happen is you've got zero plus zero over two zero minus zero over two. And if you add or subtract zero, basically it's, it's the same. So that's why when you have a zero down here, you add it to this number, subtract it from this number. And whether you add or subtract zero doesn't make a difference. That is just kind of the standard graph with a vertex of zero, zero. It's really a simple one. Um, <clears throat> the last thing I wanna look at is the imaginary case where you have imaginary answers. Um, so let's do uh, uh, minus x squared plus 2x minus 2 equals 0. Uh, so here I've got a is minus 1, b is 2, c is negative 2. The discriminant looks like this, 2 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times minus 2, which is 4. This is plus four times minus two is minus eight. Um, so we're gonna have a negative four, that's negative. So this is two imaginary answers. And that's because you've got a quadratic formula of minus B plus or minus the square root of minus eight over two times negative one. And when you add a imaginary number to negative two and divide it by, I guess, negative two also, you're gonna end up with a complex or imaginary number. And this graph is gonna look something kind of like this. I'm not drawing an exact graph, but basically it's gonna be downward facing because of the negative. Uh, and uh, it's gonna be completely below the x-axis so that it never touches the, the x-axis and uh, doesn't have any real zeros. So I hope that helps out with the discriminant. See you next time.